unselfconsciousness. Think as little as possible about any good in yourself. Turn your eyes resolutely from any view of your acquirement, your influence, your plan, your success, your following. Above all, speak as little as possible about yourself. The inordinateness of our self-love makes speech about ourselves like the putting of the lighted torch to the dried wood which has been laid in order for the burning. Nothing but duty should open our lips upon this dangerous theme, except it be in humble confession of our sinfulness before our God. Again, be specially upon the watch against those little tricks by which the vain man seeks to bring round the conversation to himself and gain the praise or notice which the thirsty ears drink in so greedily. And even if praise comes unsought, it is well, whilst men are uttering it, to guard yourself by thinking of some secret cause for humbling yourself inwardly to God, thinking into what these pleasant accents would be changed if all that is known to God, and even to yourself, stood suddenly revealed to man. Bishop Wilberforce Those who have never sought to attain true humility have yet to learn how it lies at the root of all our dear Lord's teaching. The first step towards the inner life is to attain a childlike spirit in heavenly things. It is solely God's gift. Grew.